Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about light and can anything travel faster than light. So let's find out. Well, can anything travel faster than light? Well, our quick answer is sometimes. So what what it actually says, so what relativity says is that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. So the speed of light in a vacuum is about 300,000 kilometers per second. Nothing can exceed that speed. So no particle, nothing with mass, no information is allowed to travel at faster than that speed. That's what relatively relativity says. Now here we see the speed of light in real time showing going from the Earth to the moon in a little bit over about one and a quarter seconds. That's about how long it takes light to travel. It gives you an idea of how fast that is. The distance between the Earth and the moon about 400,000 kilometers. So it takes a little more than a second for things to get there. However, what we also know is that light does not always travel at the same speed. Light does not always travel at this 300,000 kilometers per second. That is the speed of light in a vacuum. However, when you the speed will change when you're traveling through different types of media. So if you're traveling through glass or air, the speed will change. And we see that here as the light goes into a block of glass and then goes back out of it again. As it heads into the block of glass, it gets twisted toward a perpendicular here. So it gets ends up getting closer here than it was before to the perpendicular line. And that's a signification that the speed of light slowed down in that glass. When it comes out, it actually gets a little bit larger angle than it had and it speeds up. So the speed can change when you are going through different types of uh, objects. And when you go through different things, the speed can actually change. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that a particle could travel faster than light within, say, glass. A particle could travel 250,000 kilometers per second, say, and light travels in a vacuum is 300,000. So it's not violating relativity by doing that because it's not traveling faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. However, it is traveling faster than light in that medium. And this is one thing that we see sometimes with what we call Cherenkov radiation. Cherenkov radiation does occur when the particles, in this case electrons, travel faster than light in water. And we can see that glow here in the nuclear reactor that occurs because within the water coolant, then the, the, the electrons, the highly accelerated electrons, are traveling faster than light. Not faster than light in a vacuum, but faster than light at that time. And it gives us this specific type of radiation that is visible. Now, what would it mean? What would happen if we could travel faster than light? Well, it causes a lot of problems. It causes problems with what we call causality. So causality, cause and effect would be violated there. So we have here a space time diagram which shows space on the x axis and time on the y axis. And essentially anything within this cone is a possibility. You're currently at point A. You can get to point B simply because that involves traveling at a speed less than the speed of light. So you can travel this way. However, in order to travel outside of the cone, you would have to get to point C and that is not possible because it would require traveling faster than light. So, so, can, so what happens at point A could cause point B, but could not possibly cause point C because there's no way to get there. Also things like time travel and all of the paradoxes that occur with time travel would also be possible if you could travel faster than light. So as far as we know right now under relativity it is not possible it is simply not possible to exceed the speed of light in the vacuum which is about 300,000 kilometers per second. 
So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary. And what we looked at today was what was the speed of light? The speed of light in a vacuum is the maximum speed possible in the universe. The speed of light will be slower if you're traveling in things like glass or water or other materials. So within these types of materials, it is possible for a particle to exceed the speed of light when they are traveling through the glass, but not exceeding the speed of light in a vacuum. So that concludes this uh, lecture on discussing on whether we can exceed the speed of light. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.